If I'm not mistaken, I think the last Founder Bank collection update happened two plus months ago. And there are a few Founder Banks that recently joined my personal Founder Bank collection. I mean like one, two, three, four, five, six plus Founder Banks. And I will share them with you all in this video. And bonus, we will have some pretty shocking footage as well. As always, I'm your host, Henry from Penventure. Welcome to the Penventure YouTube channel. It is time for an update on my personal founder band collection. Join me and let's see what's been going on for the past few months. It's been quite a hectic schedule lately. Fountain Pen Day, our fifth anniversary, Fountain Pens, and pretty much overall life. Life happened, so I need to just schedule things a little bit better, and I am trying to grasp a hold on my life lately. So I do appreciate your support. I do appreciate that you understand that sometimes there are periods of time with more content, and sometimes there are periods of time we do have a little bit slower content releases here and there. And I'm grateful for you all that you are part of our community and you are looking forward to see what I recently added to my personal fountain pen collection. I don't know where to start because we do have a lot of fountain pens. And clearly we are going to start with the one which is very, very interesting, very, very long awaited. I've been waiting forward to get to have this fountain pen for the past eight months plus. If we were to count also the date in between when I got the spare parts and when I get the fountain pen as a pen, it's been almost a year. So we are showcasing the Cinque Verde fountain pen prototype, which recently joined my personal fountain pen collection. And this is number one of 15, which is my personal fountain pen. And remember, this pen has been a follow-up to the previous year fountain pen, which is made in Urushi by Penteo. And is this beauty right here, the Urushi Essenza in Akata Minuri. This time we took a different approach and we haven't done anything in regards of having a very, very shiny polished surface. We went with satin. And this is a very interesting twist on a Midori Taminuri finish. And this Midori Taminuri finish, it's been the one to get because Nakaya discontinued it. And after spending the last eight months watching the progress of this pen being done by Pentel himself, we've been hitting a lot of obstacles and we need to understand that this finish, it's not uh, very easy to just simply do on a fountain pen. This is Rushi finish, the Midori Taminuri, black over green. It's now clear why Nakaya discontinued it. Anyway, we've been able to do 15 fountain pens, all look the same. It's a limited edition. It's been uh, one of the surprises for this year. This fountain pen model collection, call it whatever you like, 15 fountain pens was sold out like in a neighborhood of a few days, three or four days. And I'm super, super happy for everyone who took part in this collection, owning one of these pieces. And I look forward to having your feedback in the comment section down below. Let me know how much you enjoyed. Although we've been receiving emails with your feedback and I'm super happy to see that this fountain pen collection was so, so well received by the entire fountain pen community and our friends, our uh, supporters, which participated and had one of these fountain pens in their collection. We need to update the list down below. We have to put the Cinque Verde in Midori Taminuri on that list. And we continue with the other fountain pens that uh, joined my personal fountain pen collection. And I'm gonna present a bunch of them from the same, uh, let's just say brand. I don't know how many of them will remain on this list because I am planning to give away some of them. I have not yet decided to the aspects of how I will give them away and to whom, but till this point, I am very, very pleased with all of them. Let's introduce, first of all, a pair of Ultimate Vax. I cannot remember if I done a video in which I updated everyone on my uh, whereabouts in regards of having two Ultimate Vax 
from Gravitas. Anyway, we're gonna do this one more time because along with them, we do have a lot of things from Gravitas as well. Have a look at this. So this is me sporting the Gravitas logo because I got delivery of a very special pen from Gravitas slash Ben Walsh in person. He traveled to Romania to give me that specific fountain pen and to record some content. So a bunch of surprises that I have for you coming soon on our channel. Anyway, two Ultimate Vax, one in uh, Ultem, this material, the, the yellow one, and one in Clear Demonstrator. And uh, this is two fountain pens that I am not scared to carry with me everywhere. If these two fountain pens are already on the list, we shouldn't update the list. But anyway, let me put them away and let me showcase the other two things. So I have two quirks. Is one of those fountain pens from Gravitas, which it's going to snug without you noticing in your pocket and out of your pocket. So be very careful. So this is the quirk. The quirk is a pocket size fountain pen, very small, very well thought. When you screw to post it, it becomes long enough in order to be a normal size fountain pen. So this is something which I simply adore. I haven't been a huge fan of pocket size fountain pens, but tried the Quirk and the Pockets version from Gravitas. I have been carrying this fountain pens everywhere with me. And I have two, this one, and it has a medium. And one is made in the Ultim material. This yellow one, a standard international cartridge. This has writer's blood from Diamine which is a superb wet ink. In this version, the Ultima version, I've put some of my Diamine latest exclusive ink, and this is the Neptune Blue ink, which is available both in 80 milliliters and 30 milliliters on our website. And I've been carrying these two fountain pens, uh, one day one, one day the other one, uh, for the past few months. And I even, I don't know if I should say this, but I forgot one of these pants in a pocket of some of my jeans, inked up and they went into the washing machine and uh, my jeans turned out a little bit more blue than usual. Anyway, it's not recommended, but it survived that a very, very spinny journey to say so. Two quarks on that list and I don't know if they will be on that list long enough but at one point either i'm gonna uh, give out one or both of them and i have here from gravitas the pocket in steel and this is a beast this is a super super heavy fountain pen as heavy as it is it's one which i very much like to carry with me this is something which is like a shocking surprise if i hand someone this fountain pen the first moment that they get it in their hands and check out how heavy is this fountain pen, it's a moment of revelation. And uh, it's, it's one of those fountain pens which is so, so delightful in the way it's built. And this is so minimalistic and it doesn't have a clip. It has this very, very nice facet which prevents it from rolling off your desk. And I just love the design of this fountain pen and the shape. Possibly this will be also part of the giveaway. I don't know yet. Let's see how things are going. I'm gonna show you uh, another pen, which actually is not a pen, but it is a pen. It's a writing instrument. And uh, this is something which is uh, for some of the die hard, avid fountain pens collector, some kryptonite, but it's a ballpoint, a Visconti bronze age ballpoint, which it's a marvelous writing instrument. It's very eye catching and I just wanted to have something to match with my bronze age homo sapiens fountain pen. And it's one of those writing instruments, which I do appreciate a lot, the bronze age series, because it's super, super durable. It's super, super tough. Like for example, I'm writing a lot of warranty cards and the warranty cards on fountain pens come on a very, very glossy paper, very plasticky paper. And I haven't been able to write with a fountain pen on that piece of paper. So everywhere I have this 
things to just simply sign, put a date on, I will use a bullet point. I'm not going to put it on the list because I don't put on the list when we talk about my personal fun pen collection, other writing instruments like ball points, mechanical pencils. But anyway, I wanted to share this with you. The pen that we will put on this list and it's a fountain pen, you will find out in a few moments. But till then, let me show you something which Ben dropped on when he came and left on loan for us to test out. I'm gonna show you something super, super cool. It's a pen from his creations and it's made of crystallized Damascus titanium. This thing, it's something which I have no words to describe. It's so, so delightful in person. It's so strange. I believe it's super, super durable and tough since titanium, Damascus. This pan comes equipped with a very, very delightful nib. And this is a gold nib, ultra flexible. And this is a mod done by Jose, if I'm not mistaken. I recognize his style, how he does this uh, impressive nib work. It has this very interesting uh, thing. It's, it's just like a bar which comes from the section and it allows for the ink to flow down from feeder and to travel on the nib in order to sustain the ink flow when flexing this nib because this will flex like this long. So, are you curious to check out this nib in person? Let me know in the comment section down below and I will do a video with it because it's here with us for the next uh, period of time and we can get to play with it. Anyway, since you're here, don't forget, if you enjoy my content, give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything else. And let's continue with one of the most interesting fountain pens that I've tried. I'm gonna show you two pens actually. They are the same. One is the one that I've personally bought from Ben Walsh. And uh, I say Ben Walsh because I haven't mentioned Gravitas because technically speaking, this is a pen from Ben Walsh, not Gravitas. And he designed it along with CI from Japan. And the pen is this one. And this is a work of art. It's an engineering technical work of art. Let me zoom out a little bit and let me showcase some of the details. Let me grab the, the, the case with the fountain pad that I've bought. This is an example which is left by Ben with a very, very special nib. And the shocking footage with this nib is gonna be coming in a few moments. Let's open up and check out the Kakari. I think I've pronounced uh, a few times the name wrong, but anyway, it's Kakari. And this is the pen which I've bought. And this is the pen which Ben left us with, the Kakari. And I haven't inked up my personal fountain pen. And this comes with this incredible double broad nib, 14 karat gold. And this nib is from uh, Ben's creation because it's made uh, by him. This is his gold nib. And he designed this fountain pen from the brainstorming ideas and uh, just partnership with CI from Japan. Incredible about this fountain pen, it's the filling system. It's uh, a filling system which, if I had to describe it in a few words, it's working on the same principle, just like a bulk filler. And uh, let me show you what that means. And you would unscrew this, then you would catch the piston, then you would unscrew the piston like this, then you can go down, expel the air, and then you can come up like this, draw ink, and you can use the entire barrel of ink this way. Then you would screw in the piston like this. Then you would come down and just simply go like this, and you would have a full barrel of ink. And uh, I haven't put a full barrel, but this is pretty much something very similar. An impressive feat of engineering, this Kakari fountain pen, which Ben explained everything in regards of how it's made, how it's put together, the basic principle and everything regarding this fountain pen in the video that we've done. And uh, he left me with the Kakari from his personal use because it had one a very, very special nib. 
and uh, let me let me show you the actual nib so this is one of the nibs which is created by him this is not machined this is a very very interesting nib because it's very very resilient it's uh, the, the 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 brilliant design of ben walsh the choice of materials the the, the choice of shape and everything and there is no housing the the nib it's the one with the housing uh, i cannot explain too many details about this nib better than ban from gravitas but he did in our video so i'm not going to spoil the surprise and tell you now all of the things regarding this nib but what i can do is show you how tough and how interesting this nib is watch closely I don't have right here materials like wood. Ben demonstrated how you can play darts with this nib and it will still write. But I have here a thick Tomoe River paper notebook and I'm gonna try to jam the nib like this. So this is pretty, pretty hard. So a normal steel nib would not be able to cope with this amount of just simply ramming it. Although it's paper, it's still force. Bored enough? Now let's check out the writing sample. The nib is writing without any single issue. It hadn't been bent. It hadn't had any catastrophic uh, deformity to it. So we will try this one more time. Now, let's check out. Miracle. I don't know about you, but this is something which I'm super, super curious to check out from Ben. And don't try this at home. Don't try this with any other fountain pen nib slash don't try because it wouldn't handle this kind of abuse. This is something which I was so, so delightful to see in person demonstrated by Ben and I wanted to try this nib. So he left me his fountain pen with this nib and it's brilliant. I like it. I like it. I like it. So let's update the list down below. I'll have to return this fountain pen to Ben. But anyway, I told him, Ben, I want one of these nibs and I want to have it on one of my fountain pens and to get and to just simply shock people whenever I show them how tough a nib can be and how well it can write. So he told me that he will get back. He will send me some of these nibs in order for us to test out other sizes which are a little bit more flexible like the fine medium broad sizes uh, with a little bit of uh, changes in regards of the geometry and the shape of the nib which allows even flexing although it's so tough and uh, it should protrude in pretty much hard things like plastic wood uh, it can survive a nib down dive so I'm super, super curious to see this nib in action and to see how it's going and to just simply have videos with this kind of a nib on our channel for everyone. Let's update the list down below. One more fountain pen, the Casado Kakari in 14 karat gold broad, double broad nib. Uh, my personal fountain pen, let's update the list down below. And pretty much this is the kind of fountain pens which arrived in my personal fountain pen collection in the past few months and i'm super super happy that i had time to share with you all this video update and what's going to come next at pen venture it's mind-blowing so stick around stay tuned because we will have something super interesting planned for this month and the last month of this year so stay tuned because we do come with pretty interesting things. Let me know if you have any questions, use the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this fountain pants, which is the one that you may want to have as part of a giveaway from the pocket and the quirk versions of this fountain pants from Gravitas. Let me know what are your thoughts on the Casado fountain pants, the, the, the Kakari, uh, the, the, the interesting nib from Ben Walsh, uh, and uh, pretty much 
I will be present in the comment section to answer all of your questions. Don't forget to support the growth of the PMG YouTube channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and everything. If you want to know what is the current state of my personal fund bank collection, scroll down, you'll find the entire list of my collection updated to today, including this fountain pens. If you're looking for an extra writing instrument, don't forget to choose Pen Venture. It's very easy. Just scroll down, you'll find the details for our website, our social media accounts, phone number, email, anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with me and I will help you out with your purchase. If you're not subscribed, it's very easy. Just click there, turn the notification bell on and subscribe. If you want to watch more of my content, I'm gonna leave you this right here. You can click and enjoy. As always, I'm your host, Aaron from Pendenture. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.